Hi Gremlins, how you doing then? Uh, Nat here with a completely random but not really type video. Confused? You will be. Ever since the channel really started picking up, receiving comments, DMs, there has been one thing on your mind, the disability thing. So let, let me take you back to, I mean, I, I can answer this question if you just want an answer and nothing more, nothing less. Was I born with a disability? The answer is no. Now, if you want me to expand on that a bit, I will happily do so. Um, but for that, I need my old 80s, I can't show you because we're in green screen and the cover is green. Yeah, I know. That one is actually quite difficult to look at. Okay, hopefully you guys can see it without the reflection of the studio lighting. But um, yeah, that was me back in 85. Um, 18... <laughs> Oh, no. uh, 1985, so I would have been four, I, I, I think, um, enjoying a bowl full of jelly. I love jelly. Oh, look at me and my dungaree. <laughs> oh, God, I had no chance, really, did, did I? So as you can clearly see, I'm using both my left and right hand. And it's weird, you know, I can't even remember that portion of my childhood. Um, having two hands, being able to walk properly w without a limp, and which I'm getting onto. It's like, I, I know it's me, you know, you, you, I, I know that handsome devil is... <laughs> it's a weird one. It's a weird one. You know it's you, but you can't remember anything other than recognising the facial features. Because the, the whole unbridged version of this is long. So I will edit as I go. I'll just give you the condensed condensed uh, uh, version here. All this kicked off back in 1990 when I was just nine years old. I woke up with, you know, one of those niggly headaches. I, I mean, my, my mother, God, God bless her, gave me, you know, junior aspirin, but it wouldn't budge. I went to school, it was still there, but a bit more painful by lunchtime, you, you know, so if we're like putting percentages on it, by 3.30, no home time, I would probably say it was 85. You know, it, it was very much a, uh, the snowball effect. You, you know, throughout the day, it, it gathered, more and more and more. I, I do remember throughout the day, you, you, you know, before this happened, I felt very divorced from my surroundings, very cloudy, very misty. And I'm pretty sure I had moments of uh, blackout and then coming to. I, I, pretty sure I'm pretty sure that was my experience that that school day so my mother uh, collected us uh, uh, me and my brother uh, um, and I was sent out to play playing the uh, the garden I don't think I was out there that long before what happened happened 20 30 minutes now by this time it had jumped from 85% to a good 
percent my vision was becoming how to describe it it, it kept cutting out and then i'm back and i had the weirdest feeling that I, I was so detached from Nat, little nine-year-old Nat. <sighs> um, I suppose the closest I could get to a description was I was more out there wherever I wasn't. I clearly went on to autopilot because I wasn't thinking, I, I wasn't very misty, very cloudy, very... My body took over. I had the most... If you can imagine a good old migraine and times that by 50 plus, 70 plus, the pain in my head had now reached fever pitch so all i knew was i have to get back to my mother okay now apparently because i'm not here remember you, you know it's my body taking over uh did they call it f flight or fight m mode uh, and you develop super human you, you know abilities really Remember I was nine years old and I was later told that I cleared a six foot fence. Garden fence, you know, dividing. I, I obviously, I don't remember it. Um, now, I remember this being in front of my mother. Now, at this point, I'd lost the power of speech. All I could do was scream for my life and don't forget that the pain is intensifying and it's not long before yeah there's no more of gnat in the room and I'm getting there my eyesight had now gone if you can imagine, you know that Wizard of Oz transition from black and white to colour? You know, everything's wonderful in the land of Oz because it's now colour and, you, you know, oh, no, no one wants Kansas because that's black and white. <laughs> you know what I mean? Reverse that. So my eyesight gone from colour to black and white, but my sight was getting narrower and narrower and now a bit like a tunnel tunnel vision uh, but it kept cutting out it was like it was like one of those weird like 1970s you, you know indoor aerial tv sets it kept like cutting out you wanted to like you know fix weird that's all i remember my mother told me i started foaming foaming from the mouth and it all happened like so quick so quick as these things often do you know um and i'd collapsed i'd like that the body had shut down at this point um now now you can imagine well any parent any parent faced with that, I, I mean, I, I can't imagine what my mother must have been going through. She had already lost my second brother to cot death. So she is on high alert. You know, is he dead? So I was airlifted to, I, I mean, I have so much to thank the Kent and Sussex Air Ambulance for because they were only established a year earlier. I can tell you this for a fact. 
if not for the air ambulance, I would not be here telling you this event. They saved my life. And obviously, you know, Maudsley Hospital. So I was airlifted to London, um, Maudsley Hospital. Um, had quite a lengthy and long uh, uh, life-saving operation. Um, meanwhile, my mother was at her wit's end, waiting. That's th that's the worst part, isn't it? Just waiting because it doesn't stop the brain from like giving you. Well, this could be happening. That could be happening. He could be this. He could. You. I can't believe I've not told you what it was yet. God, I make the world's worst story. <laughs> I had a hematoma. Okay then, so a bit more about um, the kind of hematoma uh, happening for me. Um, I will link in uh, the description area uh, um, the article from the NHS uh, that goes into far more detail that I, I can go in, into, but um yeah if we just have a look you, you know that this explains exactly what you, you know a severe he headache um and consequently um i had a uh, prior to, to this um i had a uh, car accident which the car hit my head and i fell to the floor two weeks earlier um which i can't remember whether i go into in this video um but you, you know um yeah ju just looking at this it's it's quite scary that i'm able to just tell my story i feel s i feel honored to be alive i feel so incredibly lucky that I was the age that I was and survived. Uh, this is very important. So, uh, burr, burr holes, is it called? Um, small holes are drilled into the skull and a tube is inter inserted through the hole to help drain the hemorrhage. Um, yeah. I have uh, how many? One, two, three, four, four drilled holes still to this day in my skull. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> it really is truly amazing. But as I say, um, if you're interested in the whole hematoma thing, I will link the original uh, article from the NHS website. Um, cheers, guys. Consequently, the stroke, I had a stroke as well. Um, and I mean, my record, my, my re medical records really detail it in. I mean, I've got cerebral palsy. Um, as well uh, um, and I was lucky more than lucky actually I, I mean a few years uh, as I just said a few years earlier I would have died and when I woke up I was faced oh I have to tell you this I when I first saw, saw my my, myself in the mirror okay obviously they had to shave well completely shave my head to do the operation because you know it wasn't keyhole you know this is gonna get very gruesome very quickly <laughs> they had to drill through my skull but when I woke up and I saw all my hair gone 
don't forget, I, I was only a kid. I, you know, kids see things for what they are. You know, it's what one of the the best compliments, uh, com the best qualities children possess. I think, think, you know what I mean. They will give you an honest answer. They don't go around the houses. I can remember this photograph at the time being taken and developed that showed me in a wheelchair all my hair being shaven and me just slumped in the wheelchair and it's weird I can remember how I felt during that period because I think I saw this is the way it's going to be now. And then I had to go through speech therapy because I couldn't talk. I couldn't walk, I couldn't talk. So I had to go through therapy for that. I had to go through physiotherapy. You, you know, um, one leg as with, with both my arms and hands are you know one limb is shorter than the other so that explains the limp you might see on on these videos i think we definitely need a part two if you guys want it and are up for it um where i i will gladly talk about my school years so from nine well, until I left school, really, because I had to be taken out of mainstream school, you, you know, because they said we haven't got the facilities to uh, um, accommodate uh, accommodate him, um, which, which is fair, which is fair. And, you know, I probably would have struggled if I stayed in that education system um, so that if you guys want to hear about that and and my new adventures in my school so this is just a this happened this is why it happened and you know um, Oh, I can tell, in another video, I, I can tell you about the fact that I died three times. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Uh, <laughs> I do remember it. Not all three times I, like, croaked it, but I, I remember one time but I will save that for another video. And yes, the colour white did make a cameo appearance. I, I'm proud of my disability, you know? Who wouldn't be? Um, I, I, I would rather answer it head on than the negative, you know, people just staring at me like, Away with the yeah, I've had that said to me. Yeah, um, I've had people laugh in my face. Okay, my mum said I was hilarious, but I didn't know that was like accepted by the <laughs> the community. Um, <laughs> do you want me to take a picture? It'll last longer. Do you want me to sign that? Of course you do. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys um that's it then um thank you so much uh for your continued support watching watching our stuff commenting sharing sharing your stories uh, it, it really does mean um a hell of a lot actually uh so um yeah and we will see you on the next one